Hi, here's another video tutorial on how you can use assertive property when you're trying to solve a word problem. So in this problem, you went to the bookstore and you purchased five books at $5.95 each. Use distributive property to calculate the total cost of the books without tax. So I'm going to show you two ways that you can apply distributive property, but I want you to keep in mind that I want you to keep in mind that which one of these methods is easier to calculate without using a calculator. So let's go ahead and begin. We all should know that the total cost will be the result of 5 times 5.95. What I want you to do is to break apart 5.95 as possibly a sum or a difference. The one on the left breaks it up as a difference. 6 minus 0 0.05 is the equivalent of 5.95. From here, we're going to go ahead and distribute 5. 5 times 6 minus 5 times 0 0.05. Hopefully, you can keep these calculations in your head. 5 times 6 is 30, and 5 nickels is 25 cents. Hopefully, you can still do this calculation in your head. $30 minus a quarter. Your total result is $29.75. Let's take a look at another possible way to do this with distributive property. Rewrite 5.95 as a sum of $5.95. When you distribute, you're going to distribute the 5, 5 times 5 plus 5 times 95 cents. 5 times 5 gives you 25 and 5 times 95 cents gives you $4.75. The sum of this is the same total as before. So I want you to keep in mind that even though both of these methods demonstrate distributive property, try to keep in mind which one of these methods would be easier to calculate without a calculator. My own personal preference would be the expression on the left-hand side.